Good morning, everyone. Happy Friday. This is Audrey here for your Zoom's Fit Club session. Um, so I just have a couple of sets of weights. Um, so if you have that at home, grab those and then okay, uh, we'll now we'll in 60 seconds. Let's proceed to go ahead and get started with a quick warm up. Let's march it out to start. A chilly Friday morning, but it's not raining today. So hopefully, you'll get outside, do some cardio, maybe after this. Just keep marching it out for now. Hopefully, you all have had a good week. Yeah, looking forward to the weekend. Up those arms to get going. And then we're going to change this up into hamstring curls in three, two, and one. Here we go. Begin reach the arms out, reach and pull, squeezing your shoulder blades around your spine, bringing your feet up towards your glutes. Stay light on the balls of your feet, core is tight. Hinge forward slightly up hips. Keep it up. Notice how my arms stay wide and they're staying lifted. I'm not letting my arms drop. Keeping those elbows up. <laughs> Keep going. Keep breathing. Nice. Stop exercise. From here, changing this up to a high knee reach and pull three, two, and one high knee, reach the arms up and pull down, bringing your knee up, basically to belly button level. And you're having a little two. crunch as you bring your knee up and you pull your elbows down, a little crunch. Keep breathing. Nice, I see those arms going up. Going. Stay here. Almost there. And three, two, Stop. and one. Let's reach up. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Now we're going to do some stretching now that we woke our bodies up a little bit. Inhale and now forward fold. Begin set three. Flat back. Stop here in the middle, in the center, and just stretch. Reach it out. Lengthen your body. Feel the stretch through your hamstrings, the back of your legs, and then fold down a little further. And just get as low as you can, but let your head hang down. This is one of my favorite stretches. Our hamstrings are usually pretty tight. So just relax here. And when you're ready, keeping your chin tucked to your chest, soften the Stop knees. exercise. Roll up nice and slow. Head is the last thing to come up. Got it. Let's widen the feet and go side to side. Sending your hips back. Feel a little stretch through your inner thighs. Begin set four. Keeping the chest lifted. We're gonna end here and after this, we're gonna go right into our squat series for our, our first real set. Let's, I'm gonna start with my squats unweighted, but have your weights nearby so you can add on. Keep it up. Stop exercise and uh, switch to the next to the center. Position. All right, so let's get ready uh, for those squats. You're gonna stand nice and tall, feet about shoulder width apart, feet are parallel, toes pointing forward. Send your hips back and down, weight in your heels, sit, and then stand. Begin set one. Good, so sit down and standing, squeeze your glutes at the top. So notice how my upper body stays pretty still. I'm keeping my chest lifted 
my core is engaged, my shoulders are rolled back and down. Sit down and squeeze. And now checking to make sure your knees are behind your toes, just look down. And if you can see the tops of your feet or tops of your shoes, then you're on the right track. If you look down and your knees are blocking your feet, you gotta send your hips back a little further. Stop exercise. <clears throat> Take a break if you need to, and if you wanna grab your weights for the next set. So now that we've warmed up a little bit, I'm gonna grab my weights and I'm gonna hold them by my side. Now I'm gonna squat again. Down and up. So you adding your weights too. is just an option for you if you feel like You've got to squat down, you have the form, you can add on. I'm doing the same thing here. I'm setting my weight back in my heels, knees behind my toes, and my hips are going back. And I, when I stand up, I'm using my, I'm standing up through my heels, squeezing my, my glutes at the top. My shoulders are still rolled back and down, my core is engaged. My Stop chest is lifted. Exercise. Take a break if you need it. <laughs> now I'm gonna send my feet a little bit wider. I'm gonna bring my waist to my, hold them at my center. Now I'm gonna squat down. I can get a little bit lower three. now that my feet are wider. So now my toes, instead of their, them pointing directly forward, they're at a slight angle, pointing at a slight diagonal. My knees are still behind my toes. I'm setting my hips back and down, nice and low. Get just as low as you can, as low as your body allows you to today. I'm still pressing up through my heels, squeezing my glutes when I come up. Oh, I'm already getting warm. I'm gonna have to take this jacket off soon. Whew, good. Shoulders roll back and down. One more. Nice, from here, last set of these, I'm gonna add on a calf raise. So squat, raise up into calf raise. Squatting down, and raise up on the balls of your feet. Down and up, nice. Totally warming up the lower body. Nice, after this, we're gonna keep our weights for bicep curls. When we're done with this set. Then after I take my jacket off, <laughs> so now I'm warm. Good, which is a good thing. It means my body's working. I hope yours is too. If you don't get warm when you're working out, you're not challenging yourself Stop enough. Exercise. Here we go. Switch Rest. Station. Bicep curls are next. Shed any layers if you need to. All right, <laughs> let's start with regular bicep curls. I'm gonna grab my weights, standing with my feet, about shoulder width apart. Starting with my palms facing forward, shoulders roll back and down. Curl up and down. Now keeping your arms glued to your sides. Notice how there's, you can't see any space between my upper arms here and my body. There's no space. My elbows are glued to my ribs. Good, I'm keeping my chest lifted. My knees are soft. So if, you're, if your knees are back like this, hyperextended, soften your knees a little bit. Stand nice and Stop tall. Stop exercise. Okay, take a quick rest. You can put the weights down if you need to. We're gonna change this up now to hammer curl. So now palms will face each other instead of facing out, turning them in for a hammer and curl. Two. All the way up, all the way down. Now ideally you'll have full range of motion, but what that means for you is gonna mean is gonna mean something different. So full range of motion for you today. If you can't bring it all the way up because of a limitation, just go as far as you can, come as down as low as you can. Good, if you need to, you can stagger your stance. But ideally, your feet will be here. Keeping the knees soft. Stop exercise. All right, take a rest. Roll the shoulders back and down. I went for some heavier weights today, so this is also a good workout for me. Now going back to regular bicep curls, palms facing out. 
curl up. And down. begin set three. Now be mindful not to curl your wrists. Now I'm curling my wrists, now I'm keeping them straight. Okay, so think about keeping those wrists nice and straight. Keep breathing. Curl all the way up and down. Try not to let your body move. You want all that power, that resistance to come from your biceps. So engage your core to keep your body still. And breathe. Stop. Nice work. Okay, rest. One more step. The hammer curls. Then we're gonna move on to single rows and tricep extensions. So we'll keep our weights again. But one more set of hammer curls. Here we go. Up and down. Begin set four. Nice. So now my arms are still glued to my sides, but I just changed up the way my palms are facing. So my hands are facing each other. The reason for this is because you actually have two bicep muscles. This is the short bicep muscle, the long bicep muscle. So with these two different bicep curls, we're working both of those muscles. You might notice that one is easier than the other, more challenging than the other, the hammer curl, the bicep curl. But if we're intentionally Stop doing both on a regular basis, the next it should both be even. Okay. So now adjust your weights if you need to. I'm actually gonna get slightly lighter weights for because we're gonna do a row and then a tricep extension. So stagger your weight or stagger your feet. I'm gonna start with my left foot forward and I'm gonna work my right arm first. Begin my left one. hand with this weight is just placed lightly on my upper thigh. Now I'm gonna row up and down, row. Good. So I'm engaging my core so I maintain a flat back and again keeping my wrist straight I'm bringing my elbow up so my elbow comes straight back behind me. I'm keeping this arm again glued to my side. Now I'm looking at you so I can talk but ideally your gaze is going to be Stop. on the floor just in front of you. Take a break if you need to. But we're gonna add a tricep extension now. So row, now extend, in and down. Row it up, extend, in Begin and down. So notice two. the placement of my wrist. I'm not letting my wrist um, move, basically. Sometimes I see this, and people wanna do this with the dumbbell because they're, they, they're not used, they're doing that instead of their tricep. All of this power, this resistance should come from your tricep, okay? You don't need to move your wrist. Keep that wrist nice and still. Now, if this bothers you, you can do a straight arm tricep extension. If you have an elbow kick. Okay, we're gonna switch to the other side. I'm just gonna turn so you can keep an eye, so you can see me, but you can just switch legs if you want. Okay, I'm staggering my foot now for the other side. I'm keeping my shoulder square. My arm is close to my body. Row Begin up set three. And down. Row up and down. Flat back here. I'm hinged forward slightly at the hips. Some people do this standing, which is okay. I'd rather see a slight hinge forward. Good. This just helps you to maintain a flat back. Keep it up. Now, what I was saying is your gaze should be on the floor, just a few inches in front of you, so that you can keep a strong alignment of your spine. Stop exercise. Now from here, we're gonna add that tricep extension in and down. Now I have to squeeze my core even more because this just got slightly harder. So row, now I'm squeeze, squeezing my core, Begin set four. For that tricep extension. Now again, if you need to, this is here for you. If you have trouble with your elbow, if you wanna do a straight arm extension. But keep that wrist straight. Don't let that wrist move. Keep breathing. Keeping your shoulders squared. Don't let one open up. Keep those shoulders squared. Arm is close to your side. Almost there. Good, good. 
Keep Stop up. exercise. Nice. And, and rest. Okay. From here, ooh, band. I think grab a band. If you have a band, grab a band real quick. I'm going to take my band. I'm going to put it around my ankles. Begin I'm going to keep it tight, and now I'm going to walk side to side. And I'm not letting this band get loose, even as I step my feet closer. All right, so we're doing these lateral band walks. I'm just moving two steps to each side. I'm feeling this in my quads, my glutes, my core is engaged. I'm keeping my chest lifted, and I'm sitting slightly in a squat. So my knees are just a little bit bent. Whew, okay, sorry, I didn't give you much time for that transition. If you don't have a band at home, you can do this without the band. You can do this and hold some weights if you'd like to. Now from here, I'm gonna keep my feet wide, I'm keeping this band tight. I'm gonna go in calf raise, up and down, up and Begin down. Set two. I'm keeping my shoulders rolled back and down, my chest is lifted so I'm nice and tall. My core is engaged. I'm squeezing my glutes as they come up on my toes. Keep that band tight. Don't let it get loose. Yeah, you're going to feel this a little bit more in uh, your hamstrings and your outer thighs with this band. For set three, we'll go back to the lateral walks. Stop here. Exercise. Nice. Now, to make it more challenging, I'm going to add one of my dumbbells and I'm going to hold it here while I walk side to side. You can add one or two dumbbells. Now, I'm keeping this band nice and tight, taking a big step out and in. Begin out. set three. And in. I'm not letting my legs get too close because I want to keep this band tight. Flex your core, flex those abs. We're almost there. After this, we'll take it to the floor. Keep going. After this whole set, I mean, we're gonna do calf raises again. Keep it up. Flex the core, shoulders back and down. Good job, good job. Stop, exercise. All right. Now back to your center. Keep the band tight. Pull it, and now up in calf raise, up and down. Now I have even more resistance this time, holding my weight. Maybe I'll hold it down there. Here we go. Flex the core, shoulders rolled back and down. Keep going. So by the way, today is an Italian holiday that I'm celebrating, St. Joseph's Day. I don't know if there's any other fellow little Italians out there, but I added my red, got my red headband. I'm wearing red socks. You wear red on St. Joseph's Day. <laughs> That's kind of like the Italian St. Patrick's Day. So yeah, a little bit of fun fact for you all. Stop exercise. Okay, rest. All step. right, remove the band. Bring it to the side. Take your weights with you to the floor. I'm going to take my heavier weights with me for chest press and chest fly. So I'm going to come down on my mat. Feet are flat on the floor. I'm going to roll back. Begin so I'm facing one. up. My palms are going to face my feet. My arms are wide. I'm going to press up and down. Up and down. I'm pressing my lower back into the floor. I'm eliminating any gap between my back and the mat. And I'm not letting my shoulders lift off the floor as when I press up. So I'm keeping my whole back on the floor. I'm just letting my arms do the work here. Pressing up and down. Stop, exercise. Take a break if you need to, or hold both arms up. From here, we're gonna do a chest fly. So now my palms, my arms are gonna turn, so my palms are facing each other. Now I'm gonna open my two. arms out to the side and squeeze them back together. Good, fly the arms open and press together. Now again, I'm really, I'm flexing my core here, that's helping me. 
when your core is always there helping. And I'm pressing my back into the floor. Okay, I'm not lifting anything up off the floor. My shoulders are staying down. I'm just squeezing my arms back together. Keeping my elbows soft. Stop and they're straight. Exercise. Okay, rest, hold, stand, hold at the top, or take a break if you need it. We're gonna go back to the chest press. So now turn those arms again. Palms facing my feet. Wide in press. press. Three. Good. Down, press it up. Now I'm just letting my upper arms just tap the floor and then I come back up. <sighs> nice and wide. I'm pulling my navel in towards my spine so that my back stays flat on the floor. <sighs> keep going. Keep your gaze up at the ceiling. And keep a gap between your chin and your chest. So I don't want to see you like this. Open up the airway. Stop exercise. Rest. So you can do a static hold here again. We're going to go back to the fly. So now turning those arms again. Palms facing each other. Now fly the arms open and press Begin together. Four. Now just like with the two different bicep curls, one of these probably feels a little bit harder for you. Usually the fly is a little bit harder because now we're also working, using some power from our lats and our biceps, not just our chest. So squeeze the arms together, squeezing the pecs. Again, I'm just letting my upper arms just tap the floor and then I come back up. After this, we're gonna remove the weights and then we're gonna go into a plank Stop series. Exercise so put the, the weights down and off to the side out of the way. We're gonna go to moving on to planks. So if you need to, you can do incline plank against a chair or a table at home. I'm gonna do mine on the floor. You can do yours on the on your knees if you need to modify the plank. Begin but one. We challenge you all to be up on your toes in the plank, pressing your heels back. Squeeze your hamstrings and your glutes. Lifting your navel up towards your spine, pressing into your shoulder blades, hands directly under your shoulders. Keep a nice straight spine so your gaze is on the floor just in front of you. Not looking up in front, not looking down under, right down on the floor. In between your hands. Stop exercise. Okay, take a rest. We're gonna do a side plank now. Now, if you have side planks, I challenge you to do a side plank. They're hard, they're gonna make you stronger. If you need to, you can do them on your knees. You just lift your hips up. Okay? Be one by two. two. I know some of you don't like side planks. If you really can't do them because of a shoulder thing, you can do regular plank. But if you can, you can do them on your knees, or if you can, on your feet. And I like to put, you can either stack your feet, which, which is a little harder, or for more balance, you can have your top leg in front of your bottom leg. Squeeze your obliques here, squeeze your glutes. Don't let your hips stick out. Bring them forward. You can put your hand in the air if you want. And wave it like you just don't care. Stop, Ooh. exercise. Yeah, side planks, other side. Right, we gotta get even, okay. Elbows directly under your shoulder. Square off your hips. Your hips are stacked. Your knees are stacked, whether you're on your knees or not. Lift up. Begin set. Three. Again, you want a nice straight line. So making sure that you're not sticking your butt out. Bring your glutes forward. If you can, you can be up on your toes with your hands up. Whew. Good. Squeezing the obliques. I've been practicing my side planks even on my hands. So these are getting easier for me. So I challenge you, you gotta start somewhere. So if you feel these are too hard, do them with me every Friday. You'll get better, you'll get stronger, I promise. Stop, exercise. Ooh, come down. All right, another regular plank. You can do forearm plank this time. All right, this is our last set of planks. So I'm gonna be up on my toes. Pressing my heels back, I'm on my forearms, 
press my hands the into the floor. But I'm still pressing up into my shoulder blades. My core is really tight. I'm not letting my hips get too high. I'm not letting them get too low. I'm having a nice flat back. I'm pressing my heels back. Hamstrings are engaged. Glutes are engaged. Ooh, I'm shaking a little bit. Stay there. Stay with me. Keep it tight. Almost there. Breathe. Stop exercise Ooh, and switch stretch. to the next station. Quick stretch. Now we're going to come up. We're going to do a quick cardio round because I just like to make sure you're going to get some cardio. Make sure everything's out of the way. Okay. We're going to start with jumping jacks, which you can modify by stepping them out. Okay? But if you can, let's do full on jumping jacks on the balls of your feet, jumping out and in, squeeze your glutes. Now, I'm bringing my arms overhead, but you can change this up. If it's hard to get your arms over your head, you can do a chest opener, or you can do a front raise. You can do this even if you're stepping out instead of jumping, that's fine. Whatever works for you, but challenge yourself. Keep going, keep it up. Nice work, nice work. Stop, exercise. All right, jog it out. Next, we're gonna do a little jumping rope. Ooh, the hair's coming out, okay. So, I'm gonna do a little jumping rope. I'm staying light on the balls of my feet. Now, if you need to, you can just, if you can't jump, you can set two. a limitation. Just a little hop side to side. I'm just bending one knee and then the other. Still getting in some cardio, okay? This is, if, this is your modification, or you're here with me. Hopping up and down. Good. Keep the arms moving. Just because we don't have a real jump rope doesn't mean it doesn't have to go up and over our heads. So keep going. Woo! Core is tight. Keep it up. Nice, ladies. Almost there. Woo. Stop. Exercise. All right. And rest. Next, we're going to do skaters. Just stepping side to side. Crossing your back leg behind you, staying low in a squat. Okay, this is level one. Begin set. If you three. can, you can hop side to side. Yeah, mostly you took the challenge. Good, keep going. My core is really engaged. I'm feeling this in my obliques a little bit. And this cross and twist. I'm staying low, jumping side to side. Cross that foot back. Nice, keep going. Cross, cross, good. Almost there, almost there. Woo! Stop Got it. exercise. Okay, next, we're gonna end with a high march. So, send those knees up, march it out. And this is our last, last move, ladies. Then we'll pull down and stretch. So begin nice big forward. march as fast as you can. Stay light on the balls of your feet. You don't need everyone who lives below you to hear. <laughs> All right, so no banging on the floor. Stay light on the balls of your feet. Standing up tall. Pump the arms. Almost there. Good, stay with it. A little faster. Almost there. Push through. Stop exercise. And is rest. All right, take it down to a lighter march. Nice, excellent work. Good, let's just keep moving. Bring our heart rates back down. We don't want to just come to a dead stop. Good, so keep, keep moving. All right, so I hope some of you get in a little bit more cardio today. Bring the arms up, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, one more, inhale, exhale, and let's stretch just for a moment. Clasp your hands behind you, push down, open up your chest. 
and release. Now press forward, push your palms out, and little round of your spine. And release. All right, nice job, everybody. Hope to see you next Friday. And yeah, again, any Italians out there, happy St. Joseph's Day. Take care.